Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So last time, if I remember correctly, we destroyed another brigand army and I'm not gonna lie, it was quite disappointing. There are quite a few problems with that uh, uh, final fight in the quest. Uh, one, the army didn't have any like uh, minstrels that would help them with morale, which is a huge issue for them. When there is still like 30 brigands on the map, but like 20 of them uh, start panicking there is something wrong with that uh then uh the positioning is also a problem because they start inside of the camp all 50 plus of them and they just can't approach you all at the same time so you are basically taking them taking them out like two three at a time as they are coming and you never get overwhelmed which is weird when you are fighting uh an army that has twice sometimes even more than twice uh, the people than you have and overall yeah i think that uh quest or the, the not just not the quest like the last fight of the quest needs some significant changes to become challenging again uh we returned to helvigborg after we destroyed them uh and didn't really find anything there so off camera i headed north to hohenfeste where i sold all of the loot and then i was thinking what are we going to do today i wanted to do something else because recently it's been just orcs and brigands nothing else so i wanted to add some variety and I think I got quite lucky. Uh, I found this uh, barbarian uh, camp that is basically just the barbarian chosen. Uh, how many? That's a question. But it's plethora, so it can be anything above like 12, 15, something like that. Just a lot of chosen. Uh, only one unhold. That's gonna make it a little bit, a little bit easier. And then, yeah, just some cannon founder around them, reaver, some warhounds. Uh, but the important part are the Chosen, and that's my nemesis usually. I really don't like fighting them, they are really dangerous, hit hard, they are quite difficult to hit, a uh, lot of hit points. So I'm curious how uh, how this will go, how we can handle them. Uh, that I think will give us a decent idea of how, uh, how the company is um, like developing. Before we get there, we have some level ups. I only left uh, like three that are uh, like relevant. We had like four more, but there was only like level 17, 18, something like that. So a few stat points that don't really change anything. But these level ups give us new perk points. So I left those uh, uh, and I'm going to do them now on camera. Okay, what do we do here? I probably should have prepared this, but we need sniper perks and we need some more defensive perks. And I don't think we can get... Actually, we have um, we have students, so that's level 9, 10, and then 2 points, 11. So we want that, we want that, we want that, and we want that. We have to take those. Anticipation, probably don't need that. Defense should be decent, and um, I think that's that's fine for now. Then we probably actually do. We don't really need Berserk for this build. I would much rather get Killing Frenzy, which is not available. I might end up taking. Oh, do, we do have Colossus. Okay, for a second I thought we did have Colossus somehow. Um, I might end up taking Colossus Muscularity later just to add a little bit more punch. Uh, maybe skillful stacking, but I don't think that stamina will be an issue. So let's just uh, take these and... Um, uh, on higher levels we'll see what we're going to end up taking. I might just go for like some favorite enemies on level 15 we'll see about that okay where do we start that's a good question do i take the safe approach and take defense first gain 15 percent of characters current initiative which is decent as melee and range defense our range defense is good 
Oh, what we definitely need is footwork. Hmm. So I may end up going like footwork now, nimble next level, and then level 11, take these two, and we will wait for dodge uh, level 15. I think that's the safe approach. We need to have the ability to get uh, out of melee in case something goes wrong. Okay, so that's one. And now one, two. I, don't, I really don't think that this build needs more stamina because we are shooting one once per turn and we will never get more. Or if we do, it's going to be very rare that something like we get a kill and on top of that we inspire or something like that. And that will happen like once every three or four fights. So let's just um, keep working on the initiative. Uh, and we are already at 124 range skill and we'll still get a lot more actually. So we will we'll end up over 130 very easily 135 ish would be my guess so that's pretty good and the same thing here but here we are missing these perks so we want to take those first but i'm still gonna mark uh nope no 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 one two it's it should be identical build so that's seven eight nine ten eleven and this is gonna be 15 so the same thing we are taking nimble on level 15 i think um oh here i want to take poison mastery god damn it there's so many perks that i want to get i may end up going poison mastery 15 but i don't think i can take it earlier okay so we need more range skill Third of your base range defenses range skill sounds good. That's plus ten right here, or plus eleven even. Give me good rolls. Four, three, uh, four. Yep, same thing. It's interesting that we don't have the twenty percent initiative perk. But here, like, how did we get to 158 without the 20% initiative boost? I know that we have two star initiative, but still, 158 on level 9 seems really, really high. 116. Yeah, considering that we don't have any stars here, this build should be fine as well. Okay. So that's our snipers. And then we have one more perk here. It's level 11 for our uh third minstrel and um here we have already like two or three people that have rallied the troops so i think for now it's fine we can wait with this to level 15 and actually no wait 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 uh inspiring presence we have enough people with inspiring presence we want uh, we wait with inspiring presence presence to level 15 and instead we definitely take nimble and uh, then we take rally the troops Okay, more initiative for... Actually, do we need more initiative? Yeah, we, we do. We want want to... Uh, want to take... Actually, no, not anticipation. We don't have dodge? We do have dodge. Here it is. Okay, so we do want the... Do want the initiative. So that's that. That. We should take resolve. Thinking... Would it be better to take hit points, or is it better to take range defense? You know what? I'm gonna take hit points. One, two, three. That's what we take. And uh, level 12 and above, we'll be taking range defense, initiative, resolve, and I think 99 hit points will be enough. Plus, at some point, we can take Colossus and become, like, extremely tanky. Good. So, those are the level-ups. And now, Barbarians. 
I'm a little nervous about this fight, especially because we don't know how many chosen we are up against exactly. So it could be like 25 chosen and uh, we would be completely screwed. And it actually might be 31. Um, probably going to be like 20 chosen. It's a lot of two heavy weapons. Holy crap. This is probably the reaver. Yep. Three dogs. That's four. Drummer is four. Five, then there were some, um, how they call it, like the, 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 the minstrel guys, drummers, drummers and beastmasters. That's like seven, eight. This is easily 20 plus chosen. Holy crap. I don't like this at all. And um, I decided to take our new tank for this, and I'm maybe starting to regret my decision a little bit. The terrain on this side, though, is helpful, because the spear wall here is going to be really annoying, and if they want to flank, they will have to go all the way around. So that's good. On the other side, well, there is this tree that's going to make it a little bit more annoying, but... Nah, they can squeeze through here, I, I think, easily. I could maybe... What I could do, I could move Puppet here, and suddenly the approach will be a lot more difficult, and they will have to go around. So that might be a good thing. And what we want, for sure, is the Unhold to end up somewhere around the Zizka, so that we can prevent him from, like, charging, not charging, like, using the, the breakthrough ability, because he can't use that uh, on someone who has, who has Indomitable. Well... We have a plan, and now watch how it's everything gonna fall apart three turns into the fight. They have some obstacles. Uh, oh, this is just snow. This is not an obstacle. Hmm, so there are obstacles on... We needed the obstacles on the other side. Because I think down here, we should be quite stable. The other side is gonna be a problem. And they have much easier approach here. Um, so, the plan is to probably just destroy them as quickly as possible on this side. And uh, then help, uh, help the other flank. You... No, 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 don't go there. This is bad. I needed him to go this way. Because as long as we can maintain the front line, we should be fine. The moment that the, the unhold breaks through, we are so screwed. Okay, you're gonna save your axes. Well... I'm to switch. I'll probably go for it in the middle, but I think it might be a little too early. Now, I think we want to kill this dog. We can kill the dog with Herman, I think. Because I want to save as much stamina as possible for the... Uh, for the Chosen, uh, it's one of their weaknesses, they can be stunned, which is surprising for such a high tier unit, but they can be not just dazed, they can be just full on stunned. You want to take advantage of that as much as possible. Um, kill the dog, I'm not sure if it's a good thing killing the dogs here, because if I kept them alive they'll be blocking some tiles uh, in front of the front line. So, fewer, uh, fewer Chosen would be able to engage immediately, but at the same time, then more of them would be trying to flank us. I think I'll risk it and just get rid of the dogs. Now, kill this one and step back. I really hope we can hold in the north. Oh my god. 
Oh, there is a tree. Never mind. Didn't see that. Decent damage, though. I think we'll focus on uh, the maces and the hammers, then the axes. They are nasty when uh, there are multiple targets uh, available for them, but single target, the maces and the hammers are much worse, I think. Oh, you should be dead. Uh, I can't do anything there. Can I? I can hit you. And I think the hammers are the most dangerous ones. Okay, so the damage against them is decent, but the important thing is that we can uh, inflict injuries pretty reliably with those uh, with those uh, slings. But you don't have any decent tar. Oh no 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 no! You do have target. Completely forgot about that guy. And I think they have only one Beastmaster. Can we snipe him? 76? Yes, please. Okay, so you also have a maze. Um, I'll just wait. So those are the drummers. Now, how do we do this? You will do a lot of damage. You will wait. You have 95%, so as well. Let's get me a kill. Lovely. Yeah, and now they will all get in melee range. This is what... Oh, you can attack with the cleaver? I, I didn't know that. That's the only two-handed weapon that can actually move move two tiles and attack. That's interesting. So... Why would you attack with them? What? I've never seen that. When they lose control of the unhold, they start considering it hostile unit as long as they don't have other targets i guess i don't mind i'm just surprised okay you have to go down jesus okay so that's two dead chosen in one turn from one unit those axes are ridiculous Um, um, you are too dangerous. How many hammers do we have here? Two. And there is a hammer down here. So three hammers and then like three mace maces, I guess. Uh, you definitely need more actions. That's good. And you could use extra actions this turn. Now... Uh, what's the chance here? It's quite close, but it's still 95, so we'll take it. Then, you need to get stunned. I'm curious, can they move around the unhold when it's uh, a hostile unit for them? I think they can. This guy should die. I'm gonna stun this one. Okay, this guy needs to die. Uh, this one needs to die. Okay, so far so good. We hitting uh, we are hitting everything. I'm a little surprised that the reaver didn't die. You have to go down. Okay, this one panicked, but it doesn't really matter that much because we can keep him. Under control, basically non-stop. Uh, I need you to wait. I want to know what the unhold is going to do before Zhishka moves anywhere. And... You're gonna hold this. And that's... Actually, no, that's not a problem. We can kill him before he can... 
cause any problems. Now, our biggest problem, I think, is this guy. And I can't get to him. So let's just get the kills where we can get them. I could move forward and disarm, and I might actually do it. Well, moving forward, A+. Plus. Disarming, a little bit worse. We can't do shit. Is the unhold gonna do? It's a little risky and ah, uh, that was a mistake. Why would you do that? What are we looking at here? Whatever, I'll just hit something. I love those injuries. Okay, get some overwhelm. And do some damage here. Then. I'm gonna move. Better save than sorry. Keep working on those hammers. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this, this guy has to die. For some reason, they can't hit anything. Did they nerf Chosen? Like, their, their melee skill? Wait... That's good. Okay. Since we have the chosen behind us, we're gonna need the damage from those axes. You can get extraction. Look at that. Chest armor gone. Half hit points gone. From one hit. Holy crap. Like every or, or not every time, but almost every attack just surprises me how much uh Pierce can do. Like, this is ridiculous. Again, two chosen dead in one turn. That's that's four chosen taken out in two turns by one unit. Now, that's gonna be a split. One more split, lovely. Uh, I can't reach him. So let's hit this guy. And you could move and attack, right? Well, let's do that. Now, you don't have to move at all. You are still stunned, so you're gonna wait. And you guys do your job. So what's it gonna be? It's fine. Uh, please don't steal my kills. Wait. Is he actively trying to avoid Zizka? I mean, it's possible. Okay, let's do nothing. We need to recover some stamina. That's fine. We can just kill this guy. Disarm this one. Stun. Hope. Nope. Unstun him. I think that might be the first attack that we actually missed. You are dead. You are dead. Oh, you're hiding behind the tree. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the unhold to get the overwhelm stack there. And now... Hey, it worked. Everything just somehow works in this fight. Okay, so now they are running away. I don't think this is gonna be a kill if we hit. I was pretty close. That's how many of them? Four of them are gonna run away? I'm not sure if this guy can run away from the unhold. <laughs> How do we approach that? It was a mistake. I 
could have given extra action to Shishka here. Can I still reach? Yeah, I can reach. Wait. Wait. Uh, I can be a little bit greedy. Wait. Not sure if that was a good idea. Because we can get hit now. It's okay. Can't catch this one. Good, get closer. The unhold already did something this turn, so we're gonna move closer. That. Uh. We could try to kill him. Good. Oh, when we kill something, the unhold gets enraged. So he's like a third party that just um, sees kills on both sides, and no matter who gets the kill, uh, he gets the the enrage buff. That's that's dangerous. That gives him so much more damage. Even sure that I want to go to him. If I don't, I won't kill him. Okay, you'll go there. Um, I don't like this. I'm not sure that we are faster, but well, let's try. And what we're gonna do? I'm trying to get some overwhelm. Um, ran out of ammo. At the wrong time. What's the chance to hit here? 64. I'm gonna risk it for the uh, extra overwhelm stack. You can't do shit. These two guys are running. We've never even seen them. And you definitely could use two attacks. Can we? Yeah, we can finish him off. Wait. This guy. Uh, there was another one, another mace guy that's running away. Hmm, whatever. We can't give the buff to anyone else here. Anyone who could make a difference. Okay, whatever. Okay, give me a good hit. Yeah, that's not enough. But we should be able to get the kill, I think. You are dead. Move aside. Oh, we definitely can get the kill. Okay. Now, last thing. One, two, three, four. Can we catch him? I don't think so. Not in the snow. Unless... Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it will be one, one tile short because of the snow. So he's gonna make it. Well, that was way too easy. Did we take damage? I mean, there was one weakness in their army. They had only one beast master. And they had only one unhold. Even if they had like one unhold and two beast master with that, and they, the beast masters didn't move like idiots uh, to get immediately killed, um, that would make it more difficult if the the unhold wasn't like fighting against everyone since round two. Okay, okay, okay. So ch just chosen are fine. So we have to be careful when they're chosen and like who unholds two beast masters. I think that would make it a lot more dangerous. And by the way, look at the damage dealt. Piercer with 1664 damage. 
from what? Like 10 attacks? We compare it to our hardest hitting frontliners. That's half uh, here on Ursa. Uh, Ziggurat, I think, is second highest. And it's on like 60%. What the fuck is this build? And it's it's a build that I didn't really prepare. It's just okay. This looks like a throwing build. Finally, I have a character that can probably do it. And out of nowhere, I think we created a monster, and it works against almost everything. I think the weakness are gonna be like skin ghouls, just units without armor that have a Fuck ton of hit points. Um, but that's it. The other things, yeah, um, hard to trash, but those are a problem for like everyone. So that doesn't really count. I might at some point try. It's gonna be difficult, but I could try to put together just a whole company of throwing masters. In the front line, we can have throwing masters with shields that focus on a melee defense and throwing weapons. Then we would have to figure out what they do when they get engaged in melee, but maybe we don't even have we wouldn't even have to solve that because by the time the enemy would probably be just dead. Imagine having 20 people doing this kind of damage. I don't think that anything would survive next to our front line for more than half a turn. That's actually quite tempting to go all in on throwing people. But well, that's something I might do in the future. And we got a shiny sword. 47 tools and supplies is great. Some ammo. Ton of actually no, it's not a ton of food. Some food. Uh I mean, I'll take it. And the sword, is it a, uh, is it a Zweihander? It's not. Damn, it's bad. What's unique about this? Maybe chance to hit head, I think maximum fatigue, and the weapon skills build up one less. But this is about as bad as it can be. I mean, maybe if the third stat wasn't chance to hit head, instead it was durability, something like that, then it could maybe be worse. But, wow, that's a bad sword. Okay, now I have a problem, because I expected this fight, fight to last much longer. Uh, I think we should do one more fight, but I didn't prepare anything. Uh, what we could use are maybe a fight against like a large group of unholds, like 10 plus unholds would be interesting. Or... Webnechts. We need webnechts. I'm not saying they would be like super interesting, but um, I need the materials from them <laughs> desperately. Five. Oh, those are decent prices. Okay, so let's sell everything. We could use some extra gold. I spent a lot of money recently. It's, it's been what? Not even like two weeks in game since we had like hundred and five thousand or something like that. The, the gold just like disappeared. Anything else? Uh, we don't need that. Did I forget anything? Yes, I did. Can sell all of these. I'll have to put together one extra armor. I don't think we need a sword. I don't think we need a bow. And I don't think we need the hammer. I'll just make as much room as possible in the inventory. Oh, and we... Do we need these? Probably not. Uh, what I should get... It's more shimmering ashes for, for the Kraken. I'm gonna keep... That. Still two of those. 
Okay. 294. We have 250. Okay, so we don't need that. We have enough ammo. We have a decent amount of food, I would say. So we are fine. Give me something shiny. Nope. about some recruits this is this on noble right so that's not good enough I'm not even sure what I'm looking for at this point except like two frontliners they not even need two frontliners at this point um oh maybe Maybe one more tank. Like Zhushka. I'm really, really happy with this build. Uh, I didn't expect anything. This is the random guy that we saved somewhere from an orcish camp, I think. And because he has more, more stars than American flag, I decided to keep him. And out of nowhere, he became such a good tank. I think it's all about Indomitable, that I actually like learned how to use it properly. And I wouldn't mind having another one for the other side. Not for every fight, but from time to time I would switch maybe Thoris Moon and adjust the line like this. And here it wouldn't be Thoris Moon, it would be someone like Zhishka. So on both sides we would have two tanks with... Um, Indomitable, covering the most exposed tile, and then two Spearmasters standing behind them, reinforcing the, the side even more. So, one extra tank with Indomitable. And then maybe either one more Throwing Master, if we get a really, really good one. Or one more Frontliner, that for some fights could replace, like, Barney, because there are fights where Barney can't do absolutely anything. And I think that would be it. Then I think we can get rid of uh, Good Like. Uh, I wanted to keep him. Oh, actually, no, we can't. He is here uh, for, for his perks, not for not to be in combat right mm, so we have to keep him maybe oliver this build didn't really work the way i i was hoping it would this is like a mid-game build uh where you can take advantage of the aoe damage but once we get to fights like especially the fights like the chosen then this weapon just is not good enough and it's a pretty good weapon but for the heavily armored targets like orcs chosen it just is not good enough this is this is a great build when you are killing like hordes of zombies okay well enough talking let's try to find something to kill where do we need to visit some some cities? I might just go blind into one of these locations that I already know about. Oh, hey, that's a three skull contract. Uh, hunt down what terrorizes Eichendorf. Interesting. Do we accept? What could this be? Werewolves, Webnachts, Nazaris. Brigands. I think those are the options. Sure. I'll set up a camp for a bit. Not the whole night, even. Just a few hours to make sure that we catch our target during the day. I don't like the side. Oh, 
never mind. Want to say I don't like the size of these tracks. It looks like a small group. But 29 dire wolves. Quite a lot. Now the question is. Are we going to trust our archers that they kill enough of them so that we can't get completely destroyed when they start flanking? Or do I pull some of our archers back? Uh, where do we want to fight them? In the open or in the forest? How many squishies? Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's let's just pray that we have the damage. They are all frenzied, right? Yeah, I'd be really surprised if we had some normal dire wolves. You have to go back. Wait, wait. I think our snipers will start right away and go after their flanks. Uh, that's bad. Oh, holy crap. They, he barely took... What? I just realized uh, that the, the Chosen were taking so much more damage. What the hell? Okay, wait... And yeah, they can engage immediately. This is the kind of fight where I would switch Taurus Moon for someone else. <clears throat> okay, we should be able to kill anything that's in front of our front line. So that's gonna make some room so more of them can get there, which means fewer flankers. Hopefully, this looks bad. I think we'll start pumping the front line. No injuries, I don't like that. Oh, that's bad. Can't afford to miss anything. Crap, 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 crap. I really need this. I mean, since I can't do anything else. Okay, oh, I made a mistake here. I don't have the damage. I thought that the Chosen would be the, the difficult fight here. Nope. At least their morale sucks. And you have to hold. Holy crap, dude. It's all about you. Kill. Look how little damage we are doing. So this is going to be a morale fight. Um, we don't have cover. We didn't kill nearly enough of them. This is fine. If they are all... Or if like, three or four of them waste their attacks on Jishka, it doesn't matter, it's a wasted overwhelm. That's what we want them to do. This is fine, we can get a nice AoE there. Yeah, 
that's a problem. That our damage dealers are getting overwhelmed. That's fine. Still holding. Yeah, we have to focus on this side. Unfortunately, you can't do it. So, it's one shot going that way. Uh, that's still fine. Wait. So this one is gone. I may as well finish him off to get that extra shot. Because with every kill, their morale will suffer. Why the hell are you shooting him? So I kind of need to kill this one. Just got a replacement. Okay, we need to get a kill here. Good. And now, uh, let's see, six, uh, so we can get only one attack, which I think is actually going to be a split rather than another cleave. We'll just hold, we do a little bit more damage. Oh, I apologize for the noise. Oh, crap. I was hoping that I had enough time today to, to finish the video before the noise starts. Yep. Okay, let's try to end this as quickly as possible. I could taunt him. I think it might be better to just let him get to us and then, then just focus on him. Famous last words. This is our target now. I really apologize for the noise. Okay, keep shooting, keep keep destroying their morale. That was a mistake, should have moved around. But that's a problem. Because now we don't have the the perks to keep the spear roll up. Yep, now we are in trouble. So you can't go anywhere. Just send the dog. And do anything you can. Spire. You still have a shot. So let's try to take out this one. Well, good enough. I think we're gonna lose this do dog or wolf, but we need to give them more targets. Panic, perfect, good enough. Let's, we are hitting morale at this point, not hit points. So you are. Mm. 
need more actions. We'll probably need more stamina. Okay, fine. I'm just going for the kill there. And we are not doing damage. And actually, wait. If I move here, I'll be able to stop him at least for a bit. Yeah, now the overwhelm is coming through from everyone. How the hell was that a kill? Um, how is that not a kill? You are out. I'm still gonna finish him off again. It's about morale. I have to hold here like this. I could stun him and then move here, have some stuns on this side. Um, you can safeguard here. Hold. Then kill him. Pull it here. Barely did anything, but now some of them started running away. So that should be three kills. Uh, you definitely need some overwhelm stacks, like all of them. Okay, that's fine. We're going back. This is a problem. You are going back. This is also becoming a huge problem. Stop. too. I mean, if I heal, it's not gonna change anything. Uh, you are stunned, you are not. Um, how are our archers exhausted? Wait. Okay, you need extractions. Ah, uh, that was way too easy. And you need extractions. That's the only way that we have here. Um, okay, this is the situation where even one arrow could make a difference. So instead of recovering, I'm gonna shoot. Hope that's gonna affect the morale at least a little bit. Panic! Panic! Same here. Or die, that works as well. Wait. Uh, this is fine, this is not fine. And I think it's time to just engage. Engage and taunt this one. Just get as many of them possible on the tank. You have to die. Oh, the noise is getting worse. I'm really sorry, guys. But this is such a fun fight. Oh, that was a good attack. So this is done. You need to get stunned.
just hold the line. Now we need to engage uh, the ones that are that are not panicking to make sure no one gets the Taurus wound. I think this is just gonna be a single time. Uh, I don't care about the AoE anymore. What the heck is going on outside? He's no friend with pirate possible. <laughs> Can we take out your out? That's fine. Uh, that's also fine. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Somehow, they're not hitting. I don't know how that's possible, but they're not hitting. I don't think we are getting kills there, but I can't attack anything else. the extraction here. I feel like that. Okay, these two are out. How can we get to the other side quickly? We can't really. I can't you? Oh, there it is. Oh the problem okay that's good it's also good and we have to focus him um. Tired bad timing. <laughs> These two panicked, so we can step back, attack, they both panic. Okay, now we are done. So I think I'm gonna make a cut here because I'm not sure actually that the noise is um, uh, you can hear the noise in the video because i have some new filters and they're pretty good at removing background noise but this is really loud so i think you will be able to hear it and that's just frustrating for me i, I want to say that the fight is over at this point anyway but it's actually not some of them that but they're like running away decided to come back You need extractions. Can't really do anything here. Maybe I'm not sure how much stamina we have. Yet. Yeah, this is fine. This one is a problem. I can keep this guy taunted actually, and I can just stun him. Okay, so it is over. I can keep this under control. Uh, so let's make a cut here. I know the fight will take me a few more turns to finish, but at this point they shouldn't be able to do anything. So it is basically over now. I apologize for the background noise. Yeah, you. Yeah, I don't think the filters are good enough to filter this out. Um, so I hope that you like this episode. I think it was definitely one of the more interesting ones. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.